Thank you all for joining us as we take a minute to honor the memory of Austin Gill. Austin was taken from us this week and we are deeply saddened by this tragic event. Austin was loved by all and will be deeply missed. Because of Austin's great love for the team and for the game, we honor him this evening. He will remain in our hearts always. Please bow your heads for a minute of silence as we reflect upon Austin and all the lives that he touched, and we will close with this poem called Missing You. It's hard to see an angel die. All we're left to do here is cry. We're left with so much sorrow. We should have been promised another tomorrow. Why did he have to show up at heaven's gate? Why take him now? Couldn't God wait? Life feels so empty without him here. I wish I could see him. I wish he were near. I should have told him what he meant to me. He was always there, like a good friend should be. He can never be replaced, I hope he'll know. But he was so young, why did he have to go? He left his family and many great friends. I guess this is what happens when heaven sends. He belonged to God and knew from the start. Even he knew one day he would part. But who could have known he would leave so fast? But he is gone now, he has passed. The laughs we shared are here with me forever. I won't forget you, I promise you, never. Thank you.
This is senior night, and shortly we will be announcing the senior cheerleaders and the senior football players and their families. I hate when this window's open again. Tonight we are recognizing three senior football cheerleaders and eight senior football players. Seniors, as you are introduced, please escort your parents to midfield. Cheerleader Jenna Dewey with her parents Jesse and Cappy Dewey. Jenna has been a cheerleader for four years as well as a basketball cheerleader for three years. She has also played four years of softball. Jenna plans on attending college in the fall, majoring in French. Good luck, Jenna. Andrea Gleason with her parents, Bob and Kim Gleason. Andrea has been a football cheerleader for two years and a basketball cheerleader for two years. Andrea plans on attending JCC in the fall. Good luck, Andrea. Bridget Solomon with her parents Crystal and Russ Solomon. Crystal has been a football cheerleader for one year and a basketball cheerleader for one year. Crystal plans on attending college in the fall with a major in graphic art designs. Good luck, Crystal. For the football players, Andrew Smith with his parents Melvin and Donna Smith. Andy has played football for four years and was named the 2003 Homecoming Offensive Player of the Game. Andrew plans on attending college in the fall. Good luck, Andy. Corey Glover with his parents, Don and Kathy Glover. Corey has been in our football program for two years and has played baseball for three years. Corey plans on attending college in the fall to continue his education in welding. Good luck, Corey. Dean Burroughs with his parents, Mr. Dean Burroughs and Mrs. Melanie Burroughs. Dean has been involved in our football program for four years and was named the defensive MVP for homecoming 2003. Dean has also played golf for three years. Dean plans on joining the Navy next fall. Good luck, Dean. James Bliss, with his parents, Mr. Ken Bliss and Mrs. Debbie Bliss. James is also a four-year football player and will also join the Navy next fall. Good luck, James. Ryan Hamcher with his parents, Jeff and Barbara Hamcher. Ryan has played football for three years 
in basketball and baseball for four years. Ryan plans on attending the U.S. Military Academy at West Point with a major in foreign language or history. Good luck, Ryan. Justin Sweet with his mom, Miss Lori Sweet. Justin has been in our football program the past four years. Justin's future plans are undecided. Good luck, Justin. Drew Luzier with his parents, Lauren and Denise Luzier. Drew has played four years of football and plans on attending the University of Buffalo with a major in history. Good luck, Drew. Chris Pacone with his parents, Mark and Carrie Pacone. Chris has played four years of football and as a junior was named the team's most improved player. He has also been named to the Expressway Conference All-Star Team. Chris's future plans are undecided. Good luck, Chris. Mary Johnson with her parents, Ted and Linda Johnson. Mary has been the team statistician for the past four years. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for sharing your child with us throughout the years. We will wish you the best in your future plans. Thank you for making the CRCS sports program successful. Thank you.
landed. You guys got any tape in there?
Child's on the carry. He's stopped by Andy Smith and Sean Gilchrist. Brian DeGroff on the carry. Getting the first quarter, no score between Cuba Rashford and Lake. Recovered by Justin St Shaper, touchdown, Letchworth.
Christopher. Oh, And yes, yes, it's on the play.
Bexley. And then of course. Edwards to Corey Glover. Oh, I'm going to give up. Yeah, 